Hello everyone, it is I, Voices Extremist, and welcome back to another episode of I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator. It is still a time to be alive. Uh, we, we died immediately last time, so we're gonna try and do a perfect route this time to see if we can get all the way to our delicious ending of sharing a bucket of chicken with our wonderful colonel here. So, uh, we're going to attempt to do that. So we're gonna new game it up. And, uh, let's make our, let's make our name, uh, Vegeta this time. Why not? <laughs> oh boy. So we're gonna make all the right choices this time. Uh, I'm not going to read a lot of the old stuff off the bat. So we slept, there's sun, world is peaceful. <laughs> But we have to wake up. Chicken alarm clock. It's obnoxious. Um, up and at him. Oh, we gotta go to CS or UC, UCS. UCS. My, uh, we we need to take this seriously. I'd better make sure to pre arrive prepared for the first day. Oh wow, Vegeta's doing the chicken this time. Wait. Welcome back to, uh, Renegade, put, rene Renegade for Life. Yeah, that, that series. <laughs> I'm now Lanny Pator. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized. Nothing can stop me now. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. Yes. Oh, just what I needed to get my Saiyan blood flowing. Standing, you gaze at the school. Here comes Miriam. Adorably awkward. Good morning, Vegeta. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Well, actually, I'm, uh... Because I sure am excited. A little nervous. Okay, a lot nervous. Okay, we did this part. What the... This morning I made breakfast for myself. What if I'm no good? Oh, no. She's so... She's, she's so sad. You're gonna, do, you're gonna do fine, Miriam. <laughs> Three day semesters. Uh, flair for the dramatic. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pep talk that best friend. There we go. Tarot cards. She looks spooky. Yeah, we're gonna meet go meet Colonel Sanders. You and your JoJo posing. Yeah. Good after all. Those beautiful bangs, you know. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh no, it's it's the rivals. Oh no, it's Ashley with your chicken thighs. Oh no. Ah, oh, chicken thighs. Didn't see you there, chicken chins. Eh. Oh, oh, you wanna go? You wanna go right now? You leave Vegeta shins alone. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, perfect shins. Oh, Van Van the Madman. Man. <clears throat> you rang, rang. <laughs> oh, you never know. It's Van Van. Ugh, how'd they let the. I don't know, the two of you in. I think they'd hate this our diplomas. Ugh. Hyrus as professors. Ugh. Okay, let's go to class. Oh no, it's the Oopsie. I think the nut's broken. Oh, we gotta pull it and push it. There we go. Don't love me. <laughs> Wait, don't love me. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, Pop. I don't want to hold the door. Okay. Aww. He's not cute. All right, Professor Puppy. There we go. Hello, Professor Corgi. Oh, no, quite down, everyone. I'm Australian this go-round for some reason. This is, I don't know. Corgis are Welsh. <laughs> okay, you must be Sprinkles. Call me Professor Dog. I still demand respect, Wolf. The cute dog is our professor. This is the best school ever. Oh, cherry blossoms. Oh, it's uh, it's him. 
Uh, it's uh, Colonel Sanders. Uh, uh. It's him. It's. Well, if it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Oh, Professor Doug, please uh, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur. Okay, the room's sweltering. Everyone's looking at me. And this over here must be Sweaty Sweats a lot. Oh, that's the same even though we deodorized. Okay. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. What's with your weird insults? It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Ah, I clean myself up. He doesn't offer me a... He doesn't offer me his handkerchief. Ah, so that's different. It's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, 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 just like my hot Kentucky Fried Chicken Nashville. <laughs> Settles, set some ground rules. The greatest culinary school, we, I think we did this part. Yeah, press, present, a future, there'll be tears, there'll be blood, adorable tiny food. When all is said is done, there'll be a battle. I love how it's sporks, because that's like what KFC's known for, is giving you a spork. Another student. Oh, another one. Oh, it's the... Uh, hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. I, I hope everyone had a good summer. I, I really make quiet. Like the class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue, you're on the fast track out of here, young man. Don't, don't you recognize me? This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. Oh. No one remember me? I'm Canada. <laughs> You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. <laughs> okay, tardiness is unacceptable. Okay, there we go. Word ratchet clank. Aha! Thanks for giving a funny joke. Your things changed. Clank, you rascal. All right. Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. Okay, this is where we died last time. <laughs> You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation is well known. Alright, so we know it's KFC, so we're gonna give him the chicken snack. Okay. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite! Haha. <laughs> well, 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 I think there might be some competition for a new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to clean their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Vegeta! There's still a seat here! It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. Oh, oh well, we said this is going to be the perfect run, so we, we got to we gotta date that Colonel Sanders, you know? You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. Appears he brought no books, pens, or pencil. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do the best you can. It's the only way if you ever get the feeling of accomplishing something. Aren't you philosophical? That's so inspiring. You're inspiring me. <laughs> A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a pop quiz about me. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus shorter. Sharper. Oh no. Sharper. <laughs> Here comes question one. If train A is traveling to point B, and train B is traveling to point A, how is important it is to wash your hands before cooking? It's always important to wash your hands before cooking. My surf save certificate on the wall says that. 
That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to the feather. That's right. What is the most efficient eating utensil? A spark! What food is best for a broken heart? Uh, I guess anything, as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's the best boy. Mm, I want to pet him. Your total score is a perfect score. Five out of five. Wow, be honest, did you cheat? You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but uh, I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Hot diggity, Vegeta! You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. <laughs> May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! <gasps> oh boy. Wow. The cafeteria is nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts for the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I uh, have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You, you see, I was, uh... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But, but I... Shh! Lunch, lunch, lunch! She said shh, shh, shh. In honor of the new semester, I've prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh-huh. <gasps> that must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell... You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Oh, it's a bucket of chicken right there. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, bread and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you. You begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? Got a bucket of chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, Stop thinking and start eating! For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. Fla fla flavors. English. You look around and notice every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. Oh, we don't get to know your 11 herbs and spices. What do you th Wait. Is that, uh, what do you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Psh, no, my dude, no. Ugh. I'm just, uh... Drafting a last will and testament in case one of these ingredients is a uh, poison. I <laughs> got him. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. That's pretty close to the Excalibur face. They're doing a lot of anime research on this. Your props to you, KFC. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear Diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Oh, she's going to com compete her. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills. She wants him all to herself. Oh, of course she would be. Mm. Oh, please. Hmm. Well, Van Van the Man Man, if you don't want any... I'll take his! <laughs> Whoa, I'm... Hold on, I mean, I guess I'll try it. 
He takes one bite. His eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. That is amazing that your hair can do that, dude. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the fried pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Oh my gosh. Alone with your taste buds gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Try and identify, savor the moment. We need to, we need to see Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man? For a flavor? Are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Approach him. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I want... Ah. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? Oh! <laughs> How bold to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. Where did you get that cane? You were not holding that cane a second ago. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own I'd be willing to trade. I had an alien blow up my planet. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got two whole more days to get to know each other. Why do you look so disgusted? <laughs> He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they see about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? Aww. You've got Moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to see sure you're truly alone. Then he leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. Uh, you, oh no, the, you, oh, of course they'd blank it out. <laughs> I never would have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. <laughs> Probably. Okay. Thanks for protecting your recipe, I guess, KFC. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find him outside, standing in the quad. Oh, let's see you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. Think of how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. I mean, this dating simulator has left a mark on this world. Alone together for the first time. You figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality. Um... Uh, let's go modest but thoughtful. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. I really enjoyed your food. I don't know why I sounded so feminine there. <laughs> Now you've got his attention. The flavors were complex, but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery, it was perfect. I appreciate the compliment, Vegeta. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. You step into the massive cooking arena, where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets to an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. And on the note of this amazing looking kitchen that looks straight out of Food Wars, I'm going to end this episode here. I shall see you guys in the next episode.